deadlifts, squats, lunges, new equipment at 3rd Street. I miss you. Introduce yourself, dude. Oh, what's up, guys? I'm Jerry. I, I train here at 3rd Street with Mike. Mike hangs out with nothing but Asians now. I don't, we don't hang out. Oh, if we want to break it down, this might we come just off see, a little harsh. We just see. But you actually pay to be around me. <laughs> not wrong. Not wrong. Not wrong. That doesn't not mean you wrong. know what I mean. That's not like, uh, hey, Jerry, man, can't wait to deadlift with you today. You know, that's not what quite happened. Yeah. All right, I pay to hang out with Mike. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I got these from Bart. Shout out Bart. Hope your back feels better. You shave your legs? Me? Yeah. No, I'm just like get you a Nair sponsorship. I'm just hairless. Oh, <laughs> just what are you doing? These are king squats. Why are you I, doing them? I don't know. I, I saw Bart doing them, so I do them too. That's the only reason. Yep. Bart, jump off a cliff. You gonna jump off a cliff? Yep. I'm trying to hit a fat single PR by the end of this week too. It's just like the words he's choosing, you know? Uh, yeah, fat single. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's me. I'm very fat and very. There's simple. at least three women watching right now, so talk to them. You got a job, a full time job. What's up, baby? You got two cars. <laughs> you got two cars. Let them know what you got. I got three cars actually. Three cars. You got a job. You got benefits. But I am five four. I don't think that's an issue. You're kind hearted. Oh, thanks, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What can I say? So 507 is gonna move today. What? Who the hell did you just say? I said, what can like I the, say? Sound like the linebacker coaching Waterboy. Sorry, I still let me talk dog out. I've seen Waterboy, but I don't remember the coach. You don't remember the linebacker coach? No, I remember the hot chick that was eating the alligator. Oh my gosh, she was fine, bro. The girl from Waterboy? Woo! She was fine. Vicky Valancourt? Yeah, she's fine. <laughs> That's Vicky Valancourt. Yeah. Ask Kyle about her. Why? Kyle hit it. For real? Yeah, ask him. Bro, you can't just be exposing Kyle like that. No, just go ask him about Vicky Valancourt. Kyle! <laughs> Kyle! No, it doesn't. Wait, Vicky, what? What's her name? Valancourt. <laughs> Mike told me to ask you about Vicky Valancourt. About what? Vicky Valancourt. His daughter. He said you smashed. I smashed. He said Valancourt. you hit those. <laughs> you gotta learn who that is. Yeah, she's the girl from Waterboy. Yeah. She's fucking hot. No, cause I was. We were talking about the Waterboy, and I was like, Nah, I only remember the girl from Vicky Valancourt. Oh uh, no, I only remember the girl from Waterboy. She was eating the alligator. Yeah. Yeah, and I was like, and then he was like, Oh yeah, you should go ask Kyle about that. <laughs> He hit. <laughs> I hit. How old is that movie? I was like you, five years old. That is true. <laughs> See, Mike. Mike Captain. So hard to deadlift without this carpet. You know, <laughs> hey, <laughs> that carpet doing wonders. Let's go for arms. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. My forearms don't look like that. You ain't tough like me. They look like this. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. You look like a breakfast pork sausage. <laughs> pork patty. No, I'm a turkey patty. I'm no. a 99 one. Sure I'm like a vanilla uh, vinny sausage. What is what is a vin vinilla sausage? Vanilla sausage. What is those? <laughs> what is those? The ones in the the ones in the can? Vienna? Yeah, Vienna sausages. I'm like one of those. Do some lunges after this. Flip that. Oh, shit. And then we'll measure it out. Six inch by six inch. What's by six inch? You know. I don't know. <clears throat> mine's, mine's like like one by one. We're trying to get you to talk to a woman here, you know? <laughs> She's going to love me for not by the size of the wee-wee, but by the size of the heart. Yeah, yeah but that doesn't mean you got to display the wee-wee first, right? Sometimes you got to fake it to make it. 
I gotta. Uh, See, but what if you fake it to make it, and then you finally get into that situation? Well, then you, you get good at other skills. But I'm not good at other skills. But then, but some of That's those. That's why I do powerlifting. No, no, no. You were talking about certain situations. Oh, like, like what the? I don't know. I've never done it before, Mike. Yeah, like those situations. Oh. There's other skills that can make up for the one incher. Heard it here first, guys. Get better at eating. Yeah, Catalinga. Yes. Man, we don't need all this chalk and baby powder, bro. That's 375. You know, Mike, some of us are not as strong as you. Okay? I don't know why Pat looking. This was his RP5 today. Damn, RP. talking shit like that, RP8. huh? Oh my God, I feel a fart coming. Your hamstrings even look I feel a fart awesome. coming, hold on, wait a minute. Woo. God damn. This might be the last video with him. Uh, I had to fart, bro. Oh, there we go, Mike. Talk about chalk, he got straps on. That's crazy. Yeah, bitch. That's crazy. Bro said, I was double overhand on the others, no chalk. Bro said, I'll double overhand these said, two. Bro, bro said, oh, chalk is bad. I didn't Look say that. Was, I didn't say it was bad, but it's like overcompensating. What that is though? I'll double overhand it right now. Then what? Okay, Mike. Yeah. Then what? I'll double overhand at 500 pounds. You suck. You won't. I have. I can't right now, but I have. See, Mike, you gotta do it right now. Yeah, but there's videos. There's history. I think you lost balance on that squat. It's because you're so top heavy and your feet are so small. Yeah. <laughs> My body just big. <laughs> this dude actually has the best balance in here because he's like walking on stilts all day. Yep. It's actually impressive. Look, his quads are literally like wider from the side than his feet are. See that? Oh, yeah. Get. No, it's not a compliment. What? What do you it mean? means you got tiny ass feet. Oh, I thought it was a compliment. Not really. Sorry guys, I have no comeback. What do you want next? Mike, you can't make fun of my chalk and then put straps on though. Bro, you can't make fun of my straps if you be fucking throwing baby powder on for an RPE6. I don't got no baby powder on yeah. though. All right, you got me there. <laughs> you got me there. You said yet. You got old head mentality. You hate on the, you hate on the new gen? Yeah, but our new gen is kind of soft too. I'm not gonna lie. Not me, I'm a hard bot. Yeah. Flaccid like an old man, bro. Huh? Flaccid like an old man, bro. Yes. I didn't use straps because I never dropped a deadlift before, you know? That's the difference. My bad. My bad, dude. You be dropping deadlifts left and right. I did drop my deadlift my last attempt at my last meet, but I'm about to redeem myself. October, October 19th. Was that a mixed group? Huh? Was that a mixed group? What? When you dropped it. Yeah, mixed group. I only pulled mixed group. My thumbs are too, like, midgets. I think it's more like an IQ issue. Huh? Huh? It's an IQ issue. I don't think there's no IQ needed to like lift heavy circles. That's true. All his facial expressions just look the same. <laughs> if you're doing like the dog thing, yeah, yeah. My bad, Evan. Yeah, that's crazy. That's selfish as shit. Bro, Evan, no, I love him. Sorry, Evan. I'm gonna do this recording real that's quick. That's crazy. You do that to me, man. Your phone ended up on Highway 5. Bro, it's cause I, Evan, Evan, I, I love you. He Evan. don't care about your shit deadlift. You know, I've been trying to get Jack, man. I care. We need baby powder, ammonia, fluffers. Just for Mike today, I'm not gonna use baby powders. I'm not gonna be a little bitch. I, I mean, won't be a little bitch today. If it ain't Metallica on, I don't know how we're gonna lift this weight. Woo! 
got me feeling like I'm at a rave. Man, I gotta get all kinds of fired up for an RPE 6 now. This is not RP6. What if the R women's are watching? Woo! What if a girl sees it? Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. That was not bad. I think that was good. Run that video real quick. Uh, I'm okay with the last one. The first two. The last one was way better than the other ones. Howie. Howie, Papa. We got. Uh, back offs. Back offs. I'm done. That was my top set. Let me whip out my TI-89 to make sure I understand what weight's got to go next. Shout out, shout out my coach. What's next? Making me programs. First YouTube video I'll bring him on, he's just getting free plugs? Sorry. That's crazy. 451, that's kind of heavy. Might call me whack for using this, but you know, at least I'm not using straps. Feel me? Ugh. If you're wondering why your grip is getting worse, it's probably because you're using straps. So my original thought, my original talk, was um, the pendulum like this. Because it's hecka skinny. Because it's skinny and long. And then, and then you would load the weights here, we would make sure there's enough room, and then you would hop in it here, and then you kind of squat um, like this. Yeah, what is it by, 34? As long as this works, yeah, that's the sketch part. It is skinny. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely 34. Yeah. 34? Yeah. Yeah, and then you just want to make sure there's room to put the weights on and shit. Yeah. Yeah, that should be good. It is pretty skinny. Yeah, so the leg press, I had an idea of pushing it this way, right? And it's kind of loaded like this, right? It's loaded like that. So 60, my bad, 60 and 67. So 67 by 67, we could put it like here. Yeah. So it would kind of go where this one is on that leg. So about where I am and here. Yeah. And then they should push into each other here and not affect any of this. Right, like the back legs of those should like slightly tap into these. And we can move the whole thing over. It could be like right here. That's true too. I even told him I had an idea. Cause, uh, so after super training was in here, then Ben took over this side to switch the sides. I thought about the sides completely. It's drastic, but yeah. Because when Ben had it, all he had was five platforms. One, two, three in the middle, four, five. and it was so perfect. Um, the issue is obviously then we have squat racks and deadlift platforms. Powerlifting's more complicated. They just had platforms, so it wouldn't really work, but. Yeah, we would have to just make everything a deadlift platform. Right, everything in the middle would have to be a deadlift platform. Um, yeah, I think if we do that and like kind of start here, like this would be the back machine, right? You just scoot that over three feet and then maybe the chest is here. I think you'd still have enough room around here to like feel normal. The glute's small, yeah. Yeah. 59? That's pretty good. Might be able to just sneak it in right here. Yeah. That's 53 by 53, so it's r roughly about this. Yeah. We might actually, maybe you go these two in the middle because they're bigger. These two, there, because they're bigger. Because then we're going to try to fit four things along here. It'd be tough. That's true. We could push that out into the aisle a little bit. Yeah. I know, I just, it's, it's just the uneven ground. This really can work anywhere. Even this in the middle isn't a terrible thing. Dude, you could set something like this like on the turf. It's like a 
Yeah. Yeah, that's true. In the corner. Yeah. 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 Yeah, or if we move all this stuff in if we move all this stuff in the middle, uh, this could even like face this in a way. So then it's like a cage. Like you move the cable. Yeah, the cable could even go here. So if you're just doing single arm shit. Yeah, especially if we move this. If the beginning of this is right here, there's gonna be all this space again. That might be a on the day call. I just wanna get you guys prepped in case I'm not here. You know, yeah. just to have the general idea. This might be like that too, bro. She keeps, yeah, that's true, but I keep asking her and stuff and like everything's like, make sure you know it's only curbside, it's only curbside. I was like, I don't know what that means. Like hopefully they'll dump it right here. It should be on a pallet and they should help us get it off the truck and it should be here. There, uh, the weights, yeah. The weights are on there. I think the heaviest one's like 300, 400. So it shouldn't be that crazy. Yeah. Um, like the leg press is 300 pounds. And the glute's gonna be light. They're, they're, they won't be that crazy. Yeah, the regular, the regular dolly should do it. Because if the leg press is 350, the pendulum's really not much metal. It should be maybe 400 max. And then the glute, you'll be able to carry, I bet. Yeah, it should be easy. I kind of wish I had investors because I, I thought about a pink gym. I thought it would be fire. Like it's all like hard shit, but it's all bright pink. Uh, I think it was Kirby sent me, or no, Ogie? Who sent it, Jetta? Somebody sent me a bright pink combo rack. And they're like, we're we getting this? Yeah, uh, maybe they sent it, yeah. yeah. I was like, dude, a whole pink gym would be sick. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 it'd be cool. It'd be cool, it'd be like, uh, it'd be like Nicki Minaj pink, you know? It'd be like fucking. Yeah, yeah, and then the other, a uh, 19, like 80s, 90s, like Sylvester Stallone, Chuck Norris, Baywatch, fucking theme. Yeah, 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 giant posters, yep. Yeah, 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 I would love that. I would love that. I think that'll work. I think that'll work, team. Yeah, it just might have to be the big three in the middle there. Jordan, Pippen, Rodman. Right in the middle. Got the plan. New equipment's on the way. We try to upgrade the gym, you know, at least yearly. Sometimes upgrades are just minor, and then sometimes it's like this one's an overhaul. So we have a whole leg section for bodybuilding coming in. We got all the upper pretty well established with our cables and our hammer strength, but uh, uh, got some cool leg press, pendulum, hip thrust that just hit the docks, it got floated over. So uh, should be in soon. So we're prepping for that in case I'm out of town to make sure the team's ready to rock on positioning, back in action. I think we're gonna vlog Saturday. Stay tuned. A little bit of variety, a little bit of gym, a little bit of business, but the vlogs truly are just more, uh, what's like the Wizard of Oz behind the veil type shit. So showing you guys my life. Appreciate you, man. Catch you in the next one.